Well, the atmosphere at this market is really exciting. This is a, an event. It's not just a market. Just about everything and anything that you see in the community is kind of condensed here. My name's Kurt Schweitzer. We own and operate Schweitzer Produce. My family, my wife, um, two sons and daughter. People that are young and old with dogs and children and people of all different ethnic backgrounds. It's a, it's a really diverse market. They're all different characters. Most of them are nice, friendly. Some of them are a little tougher, but that's all right. We can deal with them too. So. Well, this is a really old established market that was established by farmers about 35 years ago when it was kind of a novel concept. Cobham and Macanda were major sources of of fresh produce in the 19th century. There was even a rail line that ran, I believe, all the way to the Mississippi. This area was a, a major grower of vegetables and fruit that were shipped on barges to towns all the way down to New Orleans. It takes all of us to make a successful market. It's not just us, it's not that one or that one. We take everybody together. It's your, your, own, your own person, but you still need each other. So. And we go to four markets, this is definitely the best one. The reason I get up in the morning and come to the farmer's market is I really like the interaction with customers. Since we're certified organic, a lot of people um, have questions about how do you grow organically and what does it mean and you know what kind of growing practices do you use. So it gives me a chance to interact with people and customers and kind of helps me understand their perspective. Outside of the university, it's one of the nicest things about Carbondale, the farmer's market. It's wonderful to be able to meet a mixture of people, both from campus and from Macanda and Cobden and, and other such places, the, the producers, the artists, and craftsmen, growers. It's just a, a wonderful mix of people. I, I really enjoy meeting them. Keep it as fresh as you can. 75% of this you're looking at, we did yesterday. We picked it, we washed it, we boxed it. You can go in the store and they'll have a sign that says fresh or blah, 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 but it's not fresh in the store. It's been at least a week picked, sent from California on a truck. This is fresh. You're getting the most nutrients you possibly can. Every day that it stays off that plant, it loses more and it becomes less valuable. I was raised in it and raised my kids, same one. Little old 50 acre farm. Whenever you're buying fresh food that's been grown locally, I mean, people will realize they're doing a good thing. They're supporting the local economy. The money is staying here. And they're going to take this food back to their house, and they're going to enjoy it at the table with their family or friends. That's really, I think, the driving force, sharing with friends and family. There's a national movement that involves places like our farmer's market. 